section one or two centroid is exactly over here, right? And this distance from here to here, this is equal to 10 divided by two. So that is why it's 120 divided by two. So at the end of the day, what we are trying to determine is this distance. And so this distance is big Y bar minus small Y bar. Okay. Right. So from here, you will have uh, 100 times 10 power 3 divided by 12 is equal to 8.333 times 10 to power 3 plus uh, 120 divided by 2 minus by 10 divided by 2 squared times of 100 times 10 is equal to 3.025 times 10 to power 6. Okay, so 8.333 power 3 plus 3.025 power 6 is equal to 3.033 times 10 to power 6 millimeter to 4 minus uh, or 3.033 times 10 to power minus 6 meter. Oh, okay, let me do it again. About three divided by twelve, eight point three 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 times ten power three is correct. So sixty minus five squared times one hundred times ten, three point zero two five. Correct. Okay, so eight point three 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 about uh, eight point three 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 about three plus by three point zero two five power six. Okay, three point zero. Okay, so then we will find i x x three. So this will be equal. So the width now, uh, the width is 10. The depth is 100. Okay, over 12. The center is exactly at the same location, so there's nothing to minus. Okay, 10 times 100 power 3 divided by 12. So it's equal to 833. Boy, 333 times 10 to about 3 millimeter 4 or 833.333 uh, times 10 to about minus 9 meter 4. Okay. So IZZ, oh sorry, IXX, I'm so used to IZZ. So IXX is equal to twice of IXX1 plus by IXX3. Uh, so this will be equal to uh, twice of 3.033 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus by 8 point or 833.333 times 10 to the power minus 9, okay? So 2 times by 2 times the 3 point, 2 times the 3 point 0, 3, 3 power minus 6 plus by 833.333 power minus 9 is equal to 6 point, 6 point 9 or 6.89, ah, 6.9. So what I see on my calculator is 6.899 uh, times 10 to the power minus 6 meter four. Okay. So you can see the both values, the one that, that we used before is 6.9. Okay, so it's very close. So both we are you you want to use either way is fine. Okay. Uh, use whatever they are comfortable. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to find again the purpose of doing this is to find the radius of gyration about the x axis. So now we've determined our area. So our area is twice. Okay, is twice uh, 100 multiplied by 10. Plus and 100 multiplied by 10. <laughs> okay, so it's equal to 3 times by 100 times 10 
is equal to 3000 or 3 times 10 to about 3 millimeter squared or 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter squared. Okay, so now we find we got our area. So therefore, okay, so therefore, uh, radius of gyration. about the x-axis okay uh, rx is equal to square root i x x over a so this will be equal to uh, 6.9 divide by our area, which is 3 times 10 to the power minus 3. So 6.9 power minus 6 divided by 3 power minus 3. Eh, 6.9 power minus 6 divided by 3 power minus 3. Square root, eh, 6.9 power minus 6 divided by 3 power minus 3. Square root. I get zero point, I get 47.958 times 10 to the power minus three meters. Okay. So we happen to find our Rx, okay. So going back to our equation, let, let, let me, uh, let me go back to the equation of what we need. It's a long equation. Oh, let, let me copy and paste this equation. All right. So just to reflect, we know our R already. Okay. So the the next thing, uh, so we know our R. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to determine our p critical okay so we oh, oh yeah we're going to de determine let's determine our p critical okay so our p critical the formula is uh pi squared ei over uh l e squared and this is straightforward right so pi squared uh, the Young's modulus, I can't remember now. Young's modulus is set at 200 times 10 to the power 9. Second moment of area is uh, 6.9 times 10 to the power minus 6. And the equivalent length we already knew we did calculate is 4.2. Okay, based on one fixed end and one pin end, 4.2 squared. Okay, so shift pi squared times 200 power 9 and 6.9 power minus 6 divided by 4.2 squared. I get 7. 72.112. Okay, 772. This is a critical load. Times 10 to about 3 Newton. So the P about the along the Z axis. Okay, PZ. Let me bring the figure here again. All right. So we can see now our PZ. All right, so if I will draw our transformation, so this is our Y, this will be our Z, this is rotation at X. So PZ is equal to 130 times 10 to the power 3 plus by 50 times 10 to the power 3 
and it's coming down. Okay, it, it, the fact that we're analyzing this, okay, buckling can only be induced in uh, compression mode. Okay, so PZ, the axle load, so this will be equal to 130 times 10 to the power 3 plus 550 times 10 to the power 3. So the applied load is equal to 180 times 10 to the power 3 Newton. Okay, so we, 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 we know. So we also know what is this. Okay, now the next thing let's do. Uh, so we have known our P. So uh, we know our PCR P. Uh, the next thing I want to determine the C. Okay, so C is the is known as the distance furthest away from the centroid, right? So it's basically this distance over here, right? So that will be equal to one twenty divided by two. So it's equal to 60 millimeters. Okay. Oh, so if it's uh, 60 millimeters or 60 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters. And then the last one is E. Okay. So I'm not saying that E is tricky. Okay. But we have to determine what is our E value. Okay. Now. We are going to focus on on this region now. Let me, let me copy and let me paste, and I'm going to expand this. Okay. okay. So we know that the moment, right? So let's 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 uh declare. Okay. Uh, anything that is going clockwise is positive. So, summation what moment in the Z, okay, in the Z. So, anything, sorry, anything that's clockwise, sorry, counterclockwise, is it count? Yep, is positive in moment about X, okay. So, we know that now we're going to take moment from the centroid. Okay, we're going to take moment about this. So the moment will be equal uh, to what? Okay, so this one will be equal to, uh, it's going clockwise positive, 130 multiplied by uh, 130 times 10 to the power of 3. Multiplied by a length of 0 0.12 and the 50 is going in the counter direction right so one is in anti-clockwise the other one is clockwise so now you put minus uh, 50 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by a distance of 0 0.08 oh sorry multiply by a distance of 0 0.08 so this will be equal to uh, 130 power 3 times 0.12 minus 50 power 3 times 0 0.08 is equal to 11600. Okay, a uh, Newton meter. Right. So we know that moment right, is equal to PZ multiplied by E. And this will be equal to 11600. Okay. So we have calculated PZ is equal to 180 times 10 to the power 3. And this is E. This is 11600. So E 11600 divided by 180 times 10 to the power 3. So this will be equal to 11600. That so I get a distance of 64.444 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. Okay. So now uh, we have everything. Okay. So it's basically what we are going to do now is basically plug in the formula. Okay. 
So the formula that we need is this one. So we're going to determine stress max. T 180, I believe it's 180. Yep. I'm stand to power three. Divide by uh, area is three. I'm stand to power minus three. So that's easy. 1 plus by E, we calculate our E is 64, equal to 64.444 times 10 to power minus 3. Our C is equal to 0 0.06. Divide by our 